guys, I'm Bethany and welcome back to my channel. I make faith and lifestyle content. I'm 23, I live in Alabama with my husband and our two dogs and I'm starting a week in my life vlog. I'm so excited, I love doing these. And the last one kind of failed because Ethan got COVID. So we're gonna try again. I have had my morning, it's about 10 o'clock. I have been doing laundry, washed our sheets, edited some, worked on a contract for a wedding, for photography. And now I'm about to go to the library. I haven't been in a couple months or maybe the beginning of December, so I guess it is a couple months. And I'm very excited to pick up some books because I've read the ones that I wanted to read from Christmas, except like one book that I'm reading during my quiet time. But I wanted to intro the vlog and tell you that I'm going to the library. And that's pretty much what's going on. I'm wearing literally the coziest outfit. I didn't, I got ready and put on moisturizer, but I didn't actually get ready, you know? I'm just in a cozy outfit because it's cold outside and I'm wearing one of you like fuzzy shoes that I forgot I got for Christmas. I'm very excited about it, so. Let's go to the library. So I'm back home and I hit the jackpot at the library and then also went and got some meat for tonight. We're just gonna do burgers, but I hit the jackpot at the library and I'm so excited. Tips for going to the public library. Obviously, wherever you live, you have a local one. First tip is to go to the new releases section because a lot of the times there are books there that may not be like just came out, but they came out in the last year or a couple years and um, they're popular. So you're probably not gonna find popular books in just the regular section. They're probably gonna be in the new releases. I don't know, I just, whenever I go to the library, I usually go to like this, the romance section and I usually don't find any like current popular books in that section. I feel like they're always in the new releases. Second tip is to know about books. Like kind of be in the know of what, of new books that came out of what books are popular. Like I just get so many book recommendations and from different people and see different people reading that I just recognize books. And so I feel like I find really good books because I know what's kind of popular right now, what people have said are good. I put them on my Goodreads and I recognize them. I also go usually like once a month and I get like four or five books. I feel like that's a good amount of time to go. And usually I will find a book that I've been wanting to read, but also just like follow a lot of people that give book recommendations put a lot of books on my like want to read on Goodreads. Like I have like over a hundred books on there that I want to read. So I like recognize a book. Obviously I don't think books that are just released, like Colleen Hoover's new book, it's probably not going to be at the library because it just came out literally like last week. Um, but it is on Kindle Unlimited if you want to read it. And my review will be in my February or my January reading recap, which will be up before you see this. So I will link it below if you want to watch, if you want to hear my opinion on Colleen Hoover's new book. But anyways, those are a few tips to go to the public library because I feel like it's hard because a lot of times books that you want to read are on hold. But I feel like if you go pretty often, you're going to be able to find books that you recognize that people talk highly about, that you've heard reviews on or TikTok popular books, especially on the Kindle app, like the Libby app. Books like It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover is literally like on hold for months. Like I'm on the hold list and it's going to be months before I get that book. But I feel like in person, you usually get the books faster. Maybe I just go at good times when, like the beginning of the month when people are returning books, like I just happen to get them. Who knows? I'm gonna stop rambling. I just thought I would give a few tips on like going to the public library because I feel like it's so easy just to order a book, but I'm the type of person like, I don't wanna buy a book and then like not enjoy it. So I'd almost rather borrow them from the library unless they're really highly recommended. I'm gonna get into the books I got. We hit the jackpot on Emily Henry. I got Beach Read. I'm so excited. This is very popular and actually I read a good bit of it or maybe the sample on my Kindle and I wasn't really sure about it. I think it was just a little heavy for me compared to the book cover, but everyone raves about this book. They say it's so good and the cover is just really cute. And I'm kind of in the like mood for like actual books and I haven't been able to go to the library. So very excited about that. And then I also found People We Made On Vacation. I feel like the same person rented both of these because, or like borrowed both of these because they were right next to each other and I saw them. I was like, are you serious? So this is um, very popular on TikTok, but I've also heard it's not that great compared to Beach Read. So I'm excited to read both of them. And I'm pretty sure I read some of this on Kindle too. I tend to read samples. Excited to see how this one goes. Then I kind of stepped out of my box. I think this is a thriller, but it's The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. I've heard great things about this book and I'm almost positive it's a thriller. And I'm not usually a thriller gal. Like I saw it, this is the tip of knowing books, knowing what's popular because I just saw this line and recognized it and I was like, I've heard of that, I should read it. Yeah, it's definitely a thriller, we'll see how it goes because I want to be that person that reads th thrillers, like the, um, what's it called? 
Ooh, The Last Mrs. Parish. I literally couldn't remember. The Last Mrs. Parish. Everyone raves about this book. So I was like, I'm going to get the sample on Kindle, see what I think of the first few pages. And I was already creeped out and couldn't do it. So we'll see how this goes. I'm hopeful that I can get through it because I want to be the person that reads thrillers, but I like to feel good usually when I read a book. And I don't think that's going to make me feel good. Then last book I found is Rock the Boat by Beck Dory Stein. I don't know if this is new. It feels new. Oh, it came out last year. I had it on my like want to read on Goodreads. I don't know where I heard about it. I just like hear people talk about books and put it on my Goodreads want to read. No clue who I heard about this book from, but I'm excited. I almost want to say it's her first book. Maybe not. I have no clue. Oh yeah, it's her first novel. It's a romance and this girl goes back home, and so it's kind of that kind of vibe where she goes back home and meets somebody. I don't really know. It sounded good. Feeling very good and excited about my library books that I found because I've been kind of in a rut since I finished Colin Hoover's new book. I haven't read a book since then, and also I was in quarantine, so with Ethan, so it's kind of just watching YouTube videos. I've been on a Rachel Venn kick. I've talked about it, but I'm excited to like get back into reading again with some good books that I've heard great things about. Also, I was telling you about these shoes. Here they are. They're so cute, and I realized that I had them yesterday. I remember that I had them, and so I wore them today. Big fan, and they're so cozy and comfortable. They're like the Sherpa. And they have the bottom like a um, like Birkenstock kind of does. They're from Target. I will link them. But it's like a slipper, but like kind of stylish, you know what I mean? But anyways, I've been talking so long that these dogs are getting restless and want, want attention. This is what's going on currently. She just wants her chin chin. She's like, Mama, you've been talking for 10 minutes. It's time to be quiet. Hope you enjoyed my little library book haul slash tips for going to the library. <laughs>steel wool cleaning pads at Walmart on my grocery run the, run the other day because my like stainless steel pans that I got literally less than a year ago obviously for my wedding are like stained and I hear these are what work well I thought I would take you along for the process when you trying to get the stains off these pans it's honestly quite disgusting first we have this like it's supposed to be a um, non stick. I don't know if that's the truth. And then we also have this stainless steel pan. It just has like burn spots on it. I don't really know. And I've tried scrubbing them with like soap and putting in the dishwasher. I had this like rubber scrubber and it's just not working. So I'm gonna try this. I also have this pan that we use. I used to cook taco meat and it's literally so gross. It's stained. It's like literally so gross. And like I obviously wash it, put it in the dishwasher, hand wash it. I've even used baking soda. And it's just not working. So maybe these scrubbers will do the trick. I'm gonna take you along. I'm gonna listen to a podcast while I'm doing it and hope for the best because um, I had the motivation while I'm waiting on the towels to finish drying and my video to finish compressing. I thought I would try to do this. Okay, I think these scrubbers might be magic because it's literally all gone off this pan. If you're having trouble with stains, you need these. And I literally just use this Ajax soap that I use on everything. I'm shook. Like it obviously takes some elbow grease, like you gotta really scrub, but it looks so much better. I'm so excited because I honestly hate cooking with them because they look legitimately disgusting. I'm gonna finish cleaning these. Okay, so before I show you this clean pan, I just want us to remember what it looked like before I started scrubbing it. Let's remember this clip right here. And this is what it looks like now. Literally looks so much better. Like all the stains are gone. They look so good. These literal miracle workers because I didn't use any different soap than I normally use. And I think it was like two or three dollars for this whole box, which comes with like 10. Yeah, obviously you probably want to throw them away after you get done. They cleaned so well. I do think I'm going to put them in the dishwasher and let them run and clean because these stainless, these like steel things smell terrible. I'm really happy with how they look. And I feel like just a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Tuesday 
and I'm sitting at my desk. Look at that. Also, this there's a rug behind me if you watch my last vlog. Um, I got it out of the living room and I'm just don't want to get rid of it because it was a gift, but it's disgusting. So I don't know what to do about it. I tried to um, get some stains out of it. It just didn't work very well. But anyways, I'm sitting at my desk. I got ready for the day, as you can tell, because I'm going to film um, a couple of videos today. Put on an outfit. I'm wearing this sweatshirt from H&M. I got it for Christmas and jeans from Old Navy. And then just my slippers. But I've just been sitting here making my goals for February, looking at my goals for January and seeing what I accomplished and what I didn't. So I thought I would share a few of my goals here. I know a lot of people do like monthly resets and I would love to do that. So let me know if you want to hear more of this, but I thought I would just add it to this vlog. So a couple of social media goals I have is to, I want to post once a week on Instagram. I like struggle doing this. Like I started well at the beginning of January and then failed. So I like to just post more, take more cute photos. Like I want to get ready and like go out and take cute photos because I just love doing that. It's so fun. And I just like never take cute photos anymore. A few years ago, I would like before COVID, I would go places, do all these things, take fun photos, but I just don't do that anymore. So I want to do that and also put just don't miss an upload, which I usually don't. Now on to the personal. First one is to eat better breakfast. I usually just eat a pop tart, which is just like not good for you. So yesterday, as you saw, I made some toast. I'm probably gonna have it again today and it's just better for you than like literally a pop tart. So I want to move every day. I put all my 2022 goals that I want to work out three times a week. And then last month I put work out once a week, but I feel like it's just easier to put like move every day, like go on a walk, even if it's just like walking in our backyard or like doing a workout if I want to, but just like moving my body every day. Next is I want to create new outfits. I just want to kind of step out of my box, create new outfits of things that I haven't worn or like use things that I already have and like create a different outfit with it. That's just kind of what I'm thinking. It's currently only 8.17. I decided to go ahead and get ready while my dogs were like playing and stuff because when they fall asleep, I can film a video. They're actually both sleeping next to me right now. I plan to make some chicken tonight. I have it in the fridge thawing. Um, Ethan has a meeting, so he's gonna work a little later. I don't think I'm going anywhere, even though I put on a cute outfit. It feels so good to have this room like cleaning it. Obviously, Ethan was sleeping in here when he had COVID a couple days ago Sunday. I like cleaned it out, organized it, disinfected it, all that stuff. And now I can like use it and it just doesn't feel as messy. Happy Tuesday. We're gonna get stuff done for the day. later now and I've been very productive. I filmed two videos. I decided one of my goals for February, I've added a few since I talked about them earlier today, but I decided one of them would be posting a TikTok every day. I actually posted two TikToks today, so that's good. And then also the Balanced Boss course that came out with like a TikTok growth, social media growth course. So I bought that and I was going through a good bit of it and I'm excited. I want to post more TikToks because I just think it's so fun. And obviously I love like creating content, especially these YouTube videos, but I just find it so hard to create like short form content. I don't know what to film. And then I'm like, well, I can just like do the same thing that I do for YouTube and just like make it shorter, like little montages and fun text and transitions and stuff like that. And I can just put that on TikTok and I don't have to make it super complicated. So I've been making TikToks, watching that course, um, edited some, ate lunch. It's been a very productive day. It's currently 1.40. Also, I always straighten my hair for videos and it just like literally like falls and it just waves up and it's so annoying. Literally, I will um, straighten my hair 10 minutes later when I go to sit down and film, my hair has fallen, so. Wednesday. It is a very gloomy, cozy morning over here. It's currently 10 o'clock and I'm just in my cozy outfit. I haven't really changed out of my pajamas, but my pajamas are like these pants. I don't feel like I'm wearing pajamas, you know? I got my video up for tomorrow, which is great. I also finished the TikTok growth 
course and now i'm about to do a contract for a wedding i keep talking about that but i've been kind of waiting on some things from the client to finalize the contract and so i'm gonna do that and send it to her last night i ended up making these like fried chicken fingers that i've made a lot and they were super yummy it's like breadcrumbs and seasonings and stuff like spices and stuff and they were so yum happy wednesday let's get the day started actually the day's already started but you know Thursday and it's another cozy rainy day. I've been very productive again some stuff done this morning I've just been editing so excited because Rachel Van and Michelle Reed posted new videos I'm also doing laundry if you can hear that but one thing that happened this morning was Lily threw up her food that I fed her this morning. Not sure why. You know, dogs, you, they throw up and they immediately start eating it. I'm sorry if this is disgusting because it is. And I literally have to like pull her away while I'm trying to clean up the throw up so she doesn't eat it. But she's acting fine. I guess she probably just ate too much grass or something outside because she literally just eats leaves and grass all the time. So she seems fine. I'll probably be light on feeding her at lunch or I might wait a little bit. I'm not sure. That happened. And then I've actually been looking on Airbnb for our anniversary trip, which is kind of crazy that we've been married almost a year. So we want to take a little weekend trip. I want to just go to a quaint little cabin, probably somewhere in Tennessee. And I was actually inspired because I'm watching Michelle's vlog and they had like a little tree house getaway that they went on with her friends. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I should look on Airbnb because I didn't know where I wanted to go. So literally on Airbnb, I just put cabins and it shows you cabins within like a certain amount of miles of where you live. And I'm just excited. I think it'll be fun to have a little getaway together and explore somewhere new. It's so fun to do that. And we haven't really been on a trip. Well, that's not true. We went on a trip. We went to Birmingham in October, but that was like just a day. We just went for the day to go to a wedding and came back. But this will be like, you know, stay in the night and stuff. So I'm excited to plan that. It's kind of crazy that it's been almost a year because it's literally February. Like we have a couple months. No Lily. Lily's whining at the door to where her food is because she just threw up all her food. You can't have any food right now. You need to let your stomach settle. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you can't have any food right now. Um, I'm gonna finish watching Michelle's video. Let me look at my to-do list. I'm almost done with the laundry, which is fantastic. Oh my goodness, this is me reading a comment that I just got on my video, which is so kind. When people comment on my videos, it literally makes me, it makes my day. If you comment on my videos, I just want you to know that it makes my day. Ethan got off early and we went thrifting, which was super fun. He was wanting to look for some clothes. And as soon as we got to the men's section, I found this shirt and you saw a clip of me like trying it on, even though it's kind of gross because it hasn't been washed, but it was like over my clothes, so it's fine. I got it. <laughs> it's this like oversized bright pink button up. These are like super trendy right now. And I was actually looking for one earlier today because Sophie Stein posted on her Instagram story one from Zara and it was sold out and it was so sad. And then Walmart it didn't really have any because I was literally searching on Walmart. And I literally found one at the thrift store. It was like $6, super excited. I wanna wear it for Valentine's Day, but also maybe like just fun February, spring vibes. It's quite loud, but I'm very excited about it. I love pink, it's my favorite color. And I think it's just gonna be really fun to style for the spring and summer. I'm excited. day and I haven't done anything exciting so I haven't vlogged except making my coffee this morning. Um, we have steaks in the freezer and I didn't set them out or put them in the fridge to thaw so I'm about to try this cold water method where you put the steaks or meat in a bowl of cold water and it helps it thaw. So I'm gonna try that to see how it goes that I would take you along for the process. The only other thing I can make tonight is like tacos and Ethan really wants steaks so I think I'm gonna try that. My mom says that she's done it and it's worked so I'm hopeful. <laughs> this is truly kind of funny because 
Obviously, oh, I need to close that cabinet. Obviously, things float. <laughs> I don't know. Because the stakes kept rising, I had to try to figure out an issue or a thing to keep them to stay. So they literally both have two mugs on them and they're soaking in cold water. We'll check back with you in 30 minutes and see how they go. It says to, if they're not completely thawed, to change out the water and keep it cold because you don't want to use hot water because that's the higher the temperature like more bacteria so i changed out the water at like 30 minutes i think it's set for another hour my dad came over so i can't remember but i was checking it periodically checking in the temperature of the water well not like the actual te temperature of the thermometer but just making sure it's still cold and it was and they are pretty much thawed which is great it's as if they are a little frozen that like it's fine they're in the fridge doing good very excited i did have to put them in a ziploc bag because after 30 minutes some of the water had gotten into the package so I put them in a ziploc bag now they are thawed which is great thank you for coming along this process with me i'm very excited that they thawed very quickly like an hour and a half i think and all is how long it took them to thaw and they're pretty thin steaks ethan will be off soon and he will grill the steaks and they will be very yum very excited we spent the night eating the steaks that Ethan grilled and they were delicious and then we just hung out and spent the rest of the night together but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon for my next one. Had more of your smile. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone?